Hey fellow designers, I'm Shubranj and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add an infinite rotating watermark on your Framer website in just a few seconds which also happens to animate when you scroll up and down through your website as you can probably see right now. So without any further troubles, let's move on to the software here. Let me start by removing these from the desktop frame here and the first thing that we need is the circular text. So for starters, we cannot have a circular text in a circular arc within the Framer app but we can use one of the components built by great designer Benjamin from the frame website framer.supply. So we'll go to the website, find the arc component, copy and paste it within our frame. Now we can obviously play it around with its settings. So first and foremost, I'm simply gonna uh, turn on the rate mode on here. Then I can change the text as I want. So let's add watermark goes here. Anything that you would like to add. We can obviously change the font. I'm gonna increase the size here to around 16 pixels. That's it. And then I'm gonna change the color of the R component. I think this looks pretty good for an example. Right. Now I'll simply add a few shapes to get a better look on this component. So let's create a frame by pressing F key on your keyboard. Let's align it. Change the width and height of the frame that we have just created. We can remove the fill option and add a border stroke to it. So we'll select the border frame, set it to around four pixels. And I'm gonna simply increase the border radius to have, to have a circular arc. And then I'm gonna simply align it within the frame. Like this. Now I'm gonna press command D on my keyboard to duplicate the layer. And by holding option and shift key on our keyboard, we can resize the stroke in equal proportions right so once we preview it we can see that we have the infinite rotating watermark ready but if you'll notice that while scrolling up and down on this preview there is no animation to it so we are simply going to add an on scroll effect here by going to the effects panel so add a scroll transform effect right here we can choose on scroll select the from option and set the opacity and scale to around one then we'll go to the two option and we'll increase the rotate to around 700 i think 720 looks pretty good and to make this animation a little smoother, we can have a transform effect so we can reduce the stiffness to around 400 and then reduce the damping to around 40. Right here. And once we preview it, we can see that we have the infinite rotating watermark ready. So that was it for this video guys. I hope this series is going to help you guys moving forward with Framer since I believe it's the new big thing for many designers out there. So make sure you like and comment on the video and share it with your friends. I'm Sipigalo and see you guys in the next video. Until then have a nice day, take care and bye bye.